What up, YouTube? It's Misery Hates Company, and today I'm going to give you the very best Iron Man build for both PvE and PvP, and I'm actually going to give you two different builds. In these two builds, I'm giving you a starter one, or a free-to-play, or a lower-geared Iron Man. And then the second skill set I'm going to show you is actually going to be the top tier. If you want a top charts, top DPS, just destroy kids in PvP. This is the skill build that you actually want to use. Now, both of them are relevant because if you're leveling up Iron Man for the first time or you have Iron Man and you're changing him to a main or if you're just not that geared or free to play, it's fine. This first build will be for you until you get enough gear to get to this next build. And I'm going to show you how to get there quickly. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to help you main Iron Man because I used to actually main him. I went from Iron Man to Star Lord RIP to Magic, who I'm actually loving. But Iron Man is a fantastic character. He's easily top three in the game in any content. So if you like this video and it was helpful to you, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel because I'm giving you all the best content for Marvel Future Revolution and I'm excited to do so. So without further ado, no more delay. Let's jump straight into the video. First things first, I actually want to show you guys the skills for uh, what we're calling the early game Iron Man. So the first skill is going to be Napalm Bomb. Now this is already gonna be different from a lot of the different builds I've seen on different from different people or different content creators. Uh, and like I said, it's for a reason. It serves a purpose in the early game for Iron Man. And this one actually applies the, uh, well, burn, which is uh, increased damage received by 20% for six seconds. Um, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but also doesn't cost a lot. So it only costs uh, 18 stamina and has a 13.8 second cooldown. Now keep that in mind. It does 219% flame damage. Now the next skill is your bread and butter skill. I don't care where you're at in the game for Iron Man. It is the best. And that is going to be extra firepower guided missiles. This is, it shoots up to 16 enemies. You shoot your missiles, does 252% damage and deals greater damage when missiles stack on a target. So if you're doing single 1v1s or if you're doing a single target DPS, in a blitz or against a boss, if you will, um, it will do actually more and more damage. Now, the next ability, and the, I would mention this is a, for the class, it's a weapon cartridge skill. Keep that in mind as well. The next skill is going to be the spin blade. And this is just a fantastic skill. It's it's borderline OP. In fact, it's not borderline. It is OP. It does 1,276% damage. That's the most that this guy has. And... It applies a bleed damage for up to up to three enemies in a linear area. Decreases HP recovery for, by 50% for seven seconds. And so, yeah, there's another and. There's a fourth and. And the skill is an iframe, which means you can't be targeted or take damage. It's so broken. Oh, my God. Not marble. I, I'm not saying it has to be changed, but it's, it's busted good. <laughs> now... Again, the next two abilities are good for the early game where you don't have a lot of gear or you're trying to gear your Iron Man. This whole build is about autoing. So because you're probably going to be autoing a lot, and I mean a lot, of PvE content early on so you can get the better gear, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Next ability is actually Party Time Protocol. This does a ton of damage. So it actually, uh, if you do it right and quickly, you'll actually be able to land this ability towards the end of that six seconds, 20% additional damage you got from the first Napalm ability. The first swoop de doopy doop that this ability does can do easily over a million damage. And I mean, very easily. And then you actually get the Jarvis's to come around with you and fight with you for a little bit. Um, duration 15 seconds applies 34 to 38% of Iron Man's attack. Good ability overall. So the last skill is actually going to be Operation Speed Amplification. Basically, this just is, is a CDR skill that resets your skills cooldown uh, to a certain degree. Um, it, it, it helps your ultimate gauge as well. So increases ultimate gauge by 15.28, decreases remaining skill duration by 38.2, um, which and it also knocks back enemies when the skill lands. That's You don't really use it for that last part, but it's really the first two. So again, you're probably autoing. Um, and it's just as you do your full rotation, it's going to then reset you so you can then do your full rotation again, which helps tremendously when you're autoing or even just manually playing the game or trying to do PvP. Now, like I said, though, this build is only good for the early game or for a low geared Iron Man. Now, when I say low geared, I will show you actually the best gear for Iron Man here in a second. I'm going to give you three options. Before we go into the best uh, skill build for the late game, I want to show you the specializations that you're going to want to be looking for. So when it comes to the Iron Man specialization, the first there's four in particular they're going to look for. 
Three of them are a no-brainer, and one of them could be disputed and or changed if you wanted to, but I'm going to recommend that you don't vary off of this build because you'll thank me later. So the first one is actually going to be uh, algorithm improvement, decrease school down by X amount for X amount of time uh, by using a Jarvis class skill cooldown. This is just helps you keep your abilities um, up longer, and the overall build you're going to see for both the early game build, the specialization, the gear, and the late game build is that we just want your abilities to come off cooldown faster and faster and faster while maintaining amazing DPS. So that's your first trait. The next easy trait that you would just have to do, no questions asked, is not that purple one, is actually overclock. So this one increases, it's just increased damage, flat damage by X amount, but it also increases your stamina consumption. Now you're gonna see that uh, that doesn't actually matter with the rest of this build. So ignore the negative because it won't matter when you do the right, if you follow this build to a T. So the next spec, is, or so the next trait is actually going to be anti-armor bullet. Now this one basically is your execute skill. So when the target is below 50% health, you're gonna be doing a higher percent armor penetration to it. Now this is where in PVE and PVP, you'll see Iron Man just completely shred people once they get halfway through their health. And it does not take a while to get to 50% health using this build with Iron Man. So this is also a must. Now the last skill that I, like I said earlier, that I have seen people um, use different ones, but I've also seen some people use this one and I promise you it will net you the best performance for your Iron Man. And it's this one, the energy recycling. There is a 50% chance to recover 5% or a percent of consumed stamina when using a skill. So there's a 50% chance that you will consume a unknown amount based on the level uh, of your consumed stamina when you use stamina basically with a skill. This is gonna help you refresh your stamina at an easy rate. It's a chance, but when it all comes together, it feels and plays incredibly smooth. All right, so those are the four specialization traits that you have to have to go for either early game or late game, like I said, for my free to play or early game uh, people. Make sure you start using and building towards these four very early. They're all on the bottom half of the specialization tree. So there's no reason to go to the top. Just go straight down to the bottom. Now, Next, I want to talk about gear because gear is something that you have options for, but there's definitely best gear involved. Now, the best gear by far for Iron Man, again, in a perfect world, right, is actually going to be the Rise of the East build. Now, the reason being is that you get your flat attack. Uh, at the three set, you get extra firepower skill level plus six. And then you also at level at the four set get the weapon cartridge class skill plus six. So what that translates to is your uh, guided missile will be plus 12. <laughs> Ugh. And that your uh, spin blade will be plus six because your extra firepower is the one that is getting buffed by that set, that three set. And then it's also a weapon cartridge skill, which means you get the additional plus six. It's crazy. Now, obviously, the Rise of the East gear is not going to be obtainable for everyone, but this is easily the S tier, the God tier gear for Iron Man. I mean, it's arguably the best gear for any hero, considering that it makes your best skill plus 12. It almost doubles like it's, it's abs absolutely out of this world busted good. Um, so if you have the ability of getting your hands on a full four piece set of Rise of the East gear for Iron Man, hold on to it now. With that being said, there are two other options, and the first is what we're going to call the A tier, which is actually going to be Midgardia. Now, Midgardia gives you the plus attack at the two set, the crit rate at the three set, and at the four set, the weapon cartridge skill, which so that's going to be your spin blade and the guided missile, which is just stupid good. Uh, I mean, those like I said in the beginning, that is your those are your bread and butter skills. Now, the reason this is your A tier. Um, is because that crit rate is amazing. And so once you get to a point where you're min-maxing your Iron Man and you want that crit rate, and then you can just pump crit damage into your build, you're going to love that 11% crit rate. It's nice. It's really nice. Because then you get to crit cap a lot easier uh, without having to spend your really valuable resources on it in terms of your own maker cards or your, your battle badges or anything else. You just get it in your gear, which is awesome. Now, if you get unlucky and you can't get Midgardia, there's actually another set of gear, which is what we're going to call a minus. And this gear is called the Hydra gear. 
No, the Hydra Gear is A- minus because it's still at the four set. It gives you the Weapon Cartridge class skill uh, plus six, which is huge. I mean, that is, like I said, your bread and butter. But it gives you the Defense Pierce. Now, it's still good because Defense Pierce is amazing. But it's not as good as Crit Rate. Now, I know people are going to want to argue with me about this. And that's fine. This is my opinion on it. I personally would rather get Crit Rate so I can do huge, huge Crit Damage. Um, some people might prefer uh, Defense Pierce, so that's why in my personal re recommendation, I have Midgardia at A and Hydra at A-. And I think we can all agree that Rise of the East is S slash God tier. So that is the specialization, that is the gear, and that was the skill build that I would recommend for the early game or free-to-play. Now, once you get enough gear on your Iron Man and you're looking to just destroy people... That's when you're going to rotate to this build. Now, this skill build is nutty for PvP, but also incredibly solid for PvP. It includes the same specializations that I just recommended previously. It includes the same gear is all still relevant, which is why the first skills transitioned well into this one for the late game. So the first skill you're going to use is weakness scan now what this does is increases your attack by 36.22 percent for 10 seconds that means you're going to be getting a full rotation of your abilities with this uh buff and 36 is a, 36 percent is a ton it actually also does 139 percent damage to nearby enemies which is great but uh not why you use it so in the event you someone pushes you in the beginning and like let's say a dimensional duel and you pop it um it, you know, it's there. Or in Omega War, if you go in the middle and want to pop it and do a little bit more damage, you can. Now, the second ability, you're going to know what this is. And if you have Rise of the East, it's going to be plus 12. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so crazy. Is the Guided Missile, uh, which, again, we already reviewed the skills and what it does. So I won't review it again. But this is easily going to be your first one. This is going to help you when you're autoing or just playing uh, manually when you're playing PvP. Now, the next ability is where it gets a little bit different. And it might surprise some of you. So this one, we're actually going to be using the anti-tank missile. The reason we use a skill is because look at the top left. The cooldown is 8.6 seconds, and the required stamina is 16. That is cheap. That is a very cheap and easy skill to get back off cooldown, and it's a weapon cartridge. So if you use the appropriate gear, it's getting at least plus 6. And it does 425% without the plus 6, which is I mean, pretty huge and it's aoe so it is a fantastic skill that i feel like is really overlooked by a lot of players so this moves us on to the number four skill which would actually be repulsive charge this is just a great filler skill that will help you um, rotate in your abilities um, it does 723 percent damage which is very solid uh, for again a pretty cheap rate not as cheap as the last one but a very cheap one at, at 14 second cooldown not bad at least for a starting point uh, and then the required stamina is 27. Again, not great, but not bad. Now, last but not least is going to be your spin blade skill again. So this is your iframe. This is your uh, multi-hit uh, 1,276 and the bleed. So the reason I put this last is because when it comes to PvP, uh, it, you want to use that iframe at an appropriate time. So you don't want to use it too early. You want to make sure you use it if your opponent is getting ready to hit with their biggest ability and you don't want to just dodge it or you don't have a dodge available. That's when you're going to use this, get the iframe, do tons and tons of damage, and apply a bleed. It's amazing. And honestly, if you gear out your Iron Man enough, you'll probably one-shot people with this ability. It's truly crazy. I mean, even my 1. almost five geared or 1.5 million power magic is getting one-shot by Iron Man in Omega War with this. It's crazy. So this build is fantastic. And I would highly recommend it because it just does stupid amounts of damage. And if use everything I just recommended it'll actually just be like a machine gun of skills going off and off and off and off and off and you'll be doing amazing damage the whole time so if you found this video helpful make sure you like the video and if you want to see my personal build on magic make sure you check out this video right here for the skill build that will give you 1 million damage on two different abilities and this video right here if you want to see the gear and the omega cards that I use for it and go watch those videos right now